Gale and Noel, they are the reason this part of Ealing is so spick and span, because at least three times a week they go out on a litter picking mission. That's a half eaten. Half eaten one. pigeon. Lovely. <laughs> Pushing their fly-tipped prams that carry the rubbish, they've become well known here. And this is Bruno. I know all the doggies in the area. Since they were teamed up just over a year ago, they've become great friends. Where's Noelle? <laughs> is she in a bush? I'm phoning her. Where are you? It's so wet. She has fallen down a hole once. Having retired from busy careers, they could be having a nice sit down. Yeah, this is worse. <laughs> no, it, 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 it's, it's something to get out of bed for. No. Yes, it is. No. <laughs> We've got friendship. She's yes. going to say no. Yes. <laughs> and it gives us a purpose and we feel as if we're doing something for the community. I mean, look at it. That would be all over the floor if it wasn't for us. Elsewhere, they've planted flowers and repurposed discarded bins where they know they are needed. When we first put it up, we just, I just put lager can bin on here and all the residents thought it was for lager cans. <laughs> When actually, Lager Can is the name of the volunteer effort, the Litter Action Group for Ealing Residents. Last year, Gail and Noel were part of a team that collected 248,000 bags of rubbish over 36,000 hours. It's so satisfying, you know, I just can't tell you how satisfying it is. And you've seen the friendship that's formed between Gail and Noel, which is just so nice to see. And that's being replicated throughout the whole group throughout the whole borough. Come on, old oh dear, where are you? And off they trundle in search of more places to tidy up together. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London.